Thanks for joining in today. I hope everybody's doing well. As you can tell, I'm doing some maintenance on the Jeep. Uh, some front end maintenance. Some uh, tie rod ends were worn out. And yes, I did call it a Jeep. Even though it's a Suzuki, it is actually a Jeep. And that's because when this Suzuki was built, Jeep was not a brand, but a type of vehicle. So, the Suzuki Jeep will get some new front end parts. But I ran into a problem. Let me put the camera down. So, here's the replacement part. This was, uh, I ordered this off of eBay. Parts for this, uh, this Suzuki are not available or readily available at a local parts store. So, uh, this was an eBay purchase. And uh, the, I ordered them from a supplier out of Australia. And something I never would have thought of, never accounted for, is Australia. Their Jeeps, their vehicles are right-hand drive. And if you look at, let me move this back here a little bit. There's the old link. There's the new link. And it's facing, hang on here. So the tie rod end is facing the opposite direction because in Australia this link is rotated the other way because it's right hand drive unlike here in North America. But not to worry these links are welded together there's a weld here there's a weld here and there's a weld here. So I'm probably going to pick uh, this weld here, I'm going to grind it down, undo it, and then rotate the end of the link so it's 180 degrees so it matches the original and re-weld it. My first trade is welder fitter so this is nothing for me, it's no big deal. So I'm going to sign off for now for you guys and once I come back with everything prepped we're going to put the, the Jeep back together. So for you guys it will be just a matter of a snap. And boom just like that. My steering link is uh, re-welded. I ended up not having to weld it. I passed it along to somebody else actually to weld it. Sometimes when you got perks it's just as easy to use your perks so big thank you to the my buddy that welded it for me. So let's put this back together and you know, put the camera down let's continue on with the uh, front end on the Jeep. Alright, so let's do a little bit of a recap. Jacked up the front end, took the tires off, removed the two uh, outer tie rod ends, removed the center steering link, ordered parts, parts came in from Australia, tie rod ends were correct, center link was in reverse because in Australia their vehicles are right hand drive so it reversed the process. Uh, got the, the, I cut the link apart, separated it, got it re-welded facing the right direction. Uh, preliminary uh, reinstallation on the bench just did a quick measurement as you seen uh, earlier I was writing down some measurements off of a tape measure on a piece of uh, sandpaper just as uh, documenting the exact measurement of my tie rod end to bring them back to the exact same location very important to do so uh, reinstallation went well 
uh, everything is good and for you uh, gearheads out there or anybody out there who has uh, interest in uh, automotive stuff and you're looking at this and think wow I can do this at home just remember that this um, the Suzuki Jeep, uh, the front end on this thing is uh, leaf spring suspension on a solid axle with a swivel knuckle design. So I don't have to deal with adjusting the camber of the wheel. I don't have to deal with adjusting the caster of the wheel. The only thing I have to concern myself, myself with is the toe-in of the wheels. Toe-in being your tires facing inwards, either the tires are pointing angled in, inwards or outwards. So I have to make sure that measurement is equal. Hence uh, documenting the exact positioning of all the jam nuts and the exact uh, the positioning of the tie rod ends. In theory, if I bring things everything back to the original factory setting, in theory everything should track properly but sometimes it's not the case and uh, the true test is once we go out on the road. So. This is where we're at there now. We're going to put this thing down on the ground, take it off the jack stands, and we're going to go for a little road test. Well, it drives like a champ, rides like a tank, just as it always did. As far as the steering is concerned, it feels pretty good. I didn't go on the uh, the open highway, but a little bit more driving around. Uh, this thing is such a, a bumpy machine; it's actually difficult to see to 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 see if it tracks properly. But uh, a few more rides and uh, a few more longer rides and uh have some fun with it again it'll be nice and yeah that's it for the uh the awakening of the suzuki so guys thanks for uh joining here today and i'll see you on the next one